We've just spent a week with Kevin Bartlett looking at the learning principles at the school, um, particularly in light of the, the CGC work. Uh, and in this particular video, we're going to look at the impact that um, that lens has had uh, on our MYP personal project. I'm Nick Bishop I'm from Bishop Mackenzie International School in Malawi uh, and here we're going to look at a series of uh, interviews with the students after their personal project um, and to look at the reflections that they've had and the impact of learning. So with the personal project we typically record uh, a couple of minutes of conversation with the students where they explain what they've done. And for the last few years we've tried to expand on that to really home in on well what have they learnt through the experience. It's not just what they've done but what have they learnt. So we would typically record a session um, a minute or so where the students explain the different things that they've done as part of their personal project. And then we would ask them, on reflection, what do they think they've learned? Having spent a week with Kevin Bartlett in the school, really looking at the principles of, of learning and the, the work of the CGC, we started to look at this personal project uh, reflections through a different lens. Uh, in particular, we were trying to identify what conceptual understanding the students had developed what competencies had been developed and how they thought their character had been developed. Now what's interesting is these students had never heard these types of questions before so they, they were a little bit um, perplexed that they, they handled it very well. Um, but I'm sure that after a few months or a few years of regularly trying to explain their competencies and uh, conceptual understandings, the words and the expressions I think would come a lot more naturally um, to My them. name is Jessica Monk. I, my topic was based on looking at ADHD in primary classes um, to do with how primary students deal with having ADHD and how teachers can help them. Um, with different strategies to do with classrooms, organizational strategies. I created a book that is aimed to help Malawian teachers um, develop ways to help students with ADHD avoiding the medical aspect. So I created an English book and I translated it into Chichewa, um, which I then hope will go further um, and be more impactful in the community. So having completed my personal project, I now understand that um, ADHD and special needs in Malawi is not a well-known topic and it's something that even just me doing my small part with my book it can be impactful and it, it's an issue that needs to keep going and for me to keep pushing um, to bring awareness about it and just keep helping students who don't have a voice and can't express their struggles with not being able to organize themselves in classrooms. My name's Ophreen and I decided to base my personal project on fashion and beauty. My goal was to create a book and publish one. And my global context was identities and relationships. This goal was challenging for me as I had to be very selective here. Yeah. Um, by completing my personal project, I now understand that um, Fashion and beauty reflect your identity. It builds a relationship with yourself and others. And like they go hand in hand. Um, my name is Brooke Atnafu and my project was about uh, helping students understand the influence of their personalities on their learning skills. Um, having completed the personal project, I now understand that the personality of a person has a huge influence on which, think, which thinking skills would be effective for them. Okay. Um, so my name's Luke and I, my personal project was on sailing in Malawi. Um, my goal was to um, uh, research about the history and sailing on Lake Malawi. Um, the boats themselves um, and sort of how I can develop my skills to my knowledge of the boats and my personal um, skills of sailing and um, then finally uh, my skills in film and um, creating a video for the Lake Malawi Sailing Marathon. I understand sailing and things like when flying a drone how high the boats are so I don't crash the drone. Um, understanding light 
time of day when I'm shooting, uh, how best to compose the shot for different shots and gain that understanding of all of those things that come together to make uh, the film. Uh, my name is Masataro Domon and my project was about wind turbines. So my outcome of this project would be to explore and uh, identify the different, how different types of shapes and uh, materials are able to affect the amount of power that's being generated. Uh, by having completed my personal project, I understand how wind turbines work. Listen to what he says. He says, I, having completed the personal project, I now understand how wind turbines work. Now, it may be really valuable to say that he understands how they work, but compare that to slightly reframing the question and making sure that the word that is in there. Listen again when we reframe that sentence. I uh, understand that uh, wind turbines work in a complicated manner through different gears and mechanism which is used in the motors of the wind turbine. Uh, furthermore, I learned how self-management skill is really important throughout the whole project due to the fact that you don't want work building up, work, workload building up constantly so to relieve the stress and stuff like that uh, it's more efficient to manage your time wisely. So having completed my personal project I now understand that with such things as hazards on the golf course it makes it harder for the players to play out, out of the country so adding those type of things into a golf course would uh, make them more familiar and they would it would be easier for them to face a challenge and also there's a lot of things in my personal project like the use of technology and stuff like that so now I understand the use of like Google Sketchup which I used to make my designs and stuff now like that. I understand that there are different types of learners and they learn in different types of ways. <laughs> I, now, I now understand that um, to change your body or to become more fit you need um, a, reasonable, a reasonable amount of time and four weeks is not a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. Having completed my personal project I now understand that um, the ways in which music can communicate certain messages with very um, intense and deep sub subjects such as you know mental health and uh, gay rights you can send a very clear and a good point of view and state a good message throughout music as music is such a universal language. I finished my personal project. I now understand that it is really important for you to know, um, what, you know more about your own religion just before you explain, to, uh, explain it to others. The next sentence I would ask them to complete is, having completed my personal project, I'm now able to. So this spoke of the skills that they've developed during their 10-month personal project. I am now able to communicate more efficiently. Before I was quite shy in giving my ideas on what I could do. But then, however, now I am able to I share them with much more confidence. And I'm also able to give what I'm, I feel better when I give what I do to someone for critique so that they can be able to give me the feedback that I would want and also areas I did well on. Skill of craftsmanship because uh, I had to create the stand and I had to look at different designs, create the stand for the telescopes that can maneuver in different ways to view at different angles and I think that helped me a lot. Um, having completed the personal project, I am able to look at reliable sources and find reliable information through on the internet since prior to the personal project, I did not really focus on uh, how, if the sources were reliable or not. Now I'm looking at if the author is credible or not, and additionally looking at up-to-date uh, sources. The project, I am now able to self-manage myself much more, because at the beginning I was procrastinating a lot, and I didn't realize the importance of starting early and getting on with the project. And also my social skills have developed a lot because I had to talk to a lot of people in the school and out of school. I and think I'm now able to take in large amounts of information, process them and present it to a larger audience. I've learned to target a certain um, target audience and 
basically use my skills to portray all the information that I've learned and make it important for them and make it easier for them to understand it. I'm now able to create iMovie that has title, uh, sound and uh, photos because I need to make two subtitles, Chinese and English both. And uh, I also uh, learn how to in uh, oh, I also learned I need to be very polite when I interview people. Uh, if I polite, they will give uh, share their information, uh, share their interesting uh, stories. Very helpful project. I'm now able to manage my time more effectively, um, stay on track, and reflect on past decisions, and to face consequences of my time management. Project. I've been able to develop uh, my communication skills, I've been able to develop my social skills uh, because I've, uh, throughout this project I've been contacting people a lot more. I've been interacting with a lot of people, I've, in, I've been interviewing people, so that's really opened it up project. for me. I am now able to communicate not only my ideas, cultures and aspects of certain things, but I am able to communicate um, other people's aspects or a number of people's aspects, such as Hollywood, because more than one person is giving their ideas forward in the final movie. I am now able to successfully calculate the personality of, of a person and related, related to outside factors such as heritage, heritage and culture. So I'm able to bring out my curiosity and actually make something out of it instead of just thinking of it and just leaving it to the side. I can actually do some research and I can see, I can communicate with other people and see where that brings us. I'm now more able to identify um, my body technique and the mistakes that my dog might be doing or that I might be doing in my technique. Um, so that I can evaluate those for later days and improve my technique. I'm now able to study and understand because I'm now able to know what, what's effective for me to understand and the environments I need to be in to, to fully get information. I am now able to fully compose a song uh, properly with the right lyrics, melody, rhythm and beats and so on. Uh, I've also uh, learned more, I've, I've also managed to develop my skills on the way that I research uh, for the research before creating the songs. I am able to look at reliable sources and find reliable information through on the internet since Prior to the personal project, I did not really focus on uh, how, if the sources were reliable or not. Now I'm looking at if the author is credible or not, and additionally looking at up-to-date uh, sources. And then the last sentence I would say, please indulge me, here's a sentence to complete. Having completed my personal project, I'm now becoming more. And that encourages them to reflect on how their character has developed uh, and what traits have, um, have, have been affected by doing this extended piece of research. I'm now becoming more, um, ref a f more reflective person. I can now look back and go through different things that I wouldn't necessarily go back and check that they're okay. I haven't, wouldn't go back and reflect on the work that I've done. I've also become a really good communicator, having to deal with um, special needs um, specialists, occupational therapists, I'm now able to talk to them in a way that I wouldn't have been able to before. So for me, my communicating skills are definitely what's been most improved. I'm now becoming more, um, more confident with my, with my work and with how I talk, with how, with how I talk to others. But I've become more balanced because now I've put, kind of put in proportion how much sport I do and how much I work. I'm becoming more independent as a person um, and do this since the IB it helps pushes you do the best of your ability and I think that helps you with the personal project so you can perform at your best and that has actually helped me become more independent and research better. Changing the way I think of things, changing the way I do something based on how I've um, 
looked at this whole product from beginning to end. What I started off with has completely changed to what it is now from not knowing anything and then taking those skills and actually developing them through the whole product and process has changed it. Okay, so you've seen there these series of interviews have really drawn out a lot of information from the students about what they've understood, what skills they've developed and what character traits have been developed through doing their personal project. Now, this is brand new CGC stuff, CGC language that we're applying to our MYP program. And having, having done these interviews for years, I must say that the, the clarity with which I'm able, to, um, I'm able to see what the students have understood and developed um, is, is, is night and day compared to what we've done before. Uh, just asking the students what they've learnt, that was really scratching at the surface. But I really think that these three simple structures um, have helped us tremendously to understand the uh, conceptual understandings, the competencies and the character building that's happened as a result of going through the personal project.